War! War never changes! Gavin of the Goldie Clan with his massive guns and even more massive family is embroiled in a war to regain lands to the Palatian Kingdom from the dastardly Calradian Empire. Thinking they can call themselves the Calradian Empire to increase their legitimacy? No, they cannot. We have taken back Amicon Castle. An army is taking back Varagos Castle. Another pair of armies is taking back Razos Castle, but the jewel. Diatma, once a fine and proud half semi second capital to the Palician Kingdom, is under the Calradian Empire's rule. And not only that, it has 4,500 and something prosperity, which if we look at our kingdoms, only two are better, and it's better than Ortesia, which Gavin owns, which is also not even remotely close to Felician lands. It's awful. Now, obviously, we can't take Epicratia, the capital, the seat, and also owned by our good friend, King Harold. Gavin's in here. Look, there he is. Gavin. Lovely. Man, Harold's got a lot of friends, though. It's kind of crazy. Anyway, Diatma, we need it. We need to take it. Actually, we're going to wait a little bit because we don't want the gar garrison to rush out at us during the night. It's always sad. There we go. Let's besiege it. They are not rushing out. Oh, there is only a garrison. A new child is of age. Wonderful. Good for him. So many children. Gavin's got so many children. It's lovely. Gavin loves children, especially his own children who have guns. When we take this city, you can be sure that we're going to take... Oh, oh no. Unless Harold takes over this siege, which would be a grand... I was going to say it would be awful. Ah, oh, but now it's definitely going to happen because this guy decided to attack us when these guys are in range. Uh, I don't like the sound of it. Actually, no. No, no, no. These guys are sallying out. How am I joining him with our troops? How's he leading the attack? What is going on here? Wait, what? This is the battlefield? That's... Well... Unfortunate for the enemies. Because uh, when our children are done with this, uh, there's not going to be a lot of the enemies left. Right, load up, Gavin. Get your rocket <laughs> loaded up before your kids kill everything else. Kill the nobles! Damn, I think they're already, already dead. Where's the rest of them? Ooh. Oh, looks like our kids are accidentally killing a bunch of... Uh... Everyone hold fire! Yeah, let's have our kids hold fire. Let's have Harold's men actually do something. I mean... Oh, we're spawning a sovereign. Well, that's fine, yeah. Hone your melee powers, kids. I think they'll actually do fine. They are pretty good at melee combat too. They just never have to do it because they kill everything things together. Yeah, this was an ill, ill-conceived plan from the enemy. I guess they were desperate, but should you ever really be this desperate? I don't know, man. Well, there you go. Actually, let's see what kids have got the most kills here. Huh, it was Dermot. The second Dermot. We have multiple Dermots. Uh oh. Jathis, Yoren. Did Graves do nothing this time? Am I blind? Where is he? There he is. Try the knee. Are we out of nothing? Some of these kids are not pulling their weight. It might just be all the friendly fine weight. Oh, who's this? Ah, this looks like a lady that we need in our prison right now. This man as well? Yeah. They have Felicians? Imprisoned? We grab those. They can carry our goods. And we continue the siege and hope that Harold doesn't take over it. And he does. Now, this is extremely annoying because that means the siege will never actually happen. So we have to leave. Go on. Press on two. And then they immediately get it. I mean, this is... I can't believe Harold has done this. I at least hope he realizes that this castle was only taken because of Harold. Um... Wait, I should save this guy. 
Oh, a letter has arrived at Lyria. Oh, the game crashed. <sighs> Great. Holy moly! So I can't. <laughs> I can't tell you how many times the Calradian kingdom actually just bloody surrendered. No, made peace. Yeah, they actually uh, trying to get to the same scenario again. Seems to have be, maybe be some kind of miracle because they kept surrendering in the war, forfeiting, and then we didn't get Yapma at all. Now, magically, uh, Harold's army's not here this time, and nobody came to defend it either, which is weird. It's the only time nobody came to defend it, but... You know what? Screw it. They didn't actually want peace in the war yet, which is what we're going to take. We're going to accept this scenario, but because we actually get to siege the castle now, and I do like sieges, we're going to play this through for you guys, because, let's face it, it's delightful. And now we're actually not even going to risk not getting Diadma either, unless it magically crashes again. Now, it didn't crash, Attack! but I actually forgot to put on Gavin's uh, good siege weapons. His grenades are not here. His um, long-range sniper rifle is not here. And the enemy still has these... Oh, God. Okay, what we need to do is we need to get... People off of these, uh... Can we not... Shit. AoE people here? Can we not hit the... Is this not AoE at all? Shit. How is this not AoE? Okay. Well, we need to make sure that... How can we not get rid of this? It doesn't make sense. Surely the AoE from our cannon can stop these people. It's not even... No, it's not AoEing them down. There's more AoE on our bloody rifle than... Oh my god, okay, we're getting out of here, man. Shit. Okay, it looks like most of our people are too far forward to be affected by the siege equipment anyway. So, there's, there's that. When you tell everybody to charge and they actually charge, you've got a good chance. Alright, actually they're also getting shot down now. We are on the walls. We are on the walls, everyone. Oh god, we have one. <laughs> we have a rocket launch on the walls! I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. I gotta be honest. Uh, our kids are going around with the guns and we don't know what they're going to be doing with them. Other than... Firing them at all our enemies, which is uh, good, I suppose. Huh. This actually went better without grenades than I thought it was going to go. Yep, that was actually uh, <laughs> not the right ammo. Never mind. Show mercy, yes! This city is ours! Diatma is ours! We claim it! Diadma, holy moly, and it is a place of Palician descent, which means we can manage town. Oh, we're gonna pump it full of money, don't you worry. Speed everything up. Obviously, we're going to upgrade everything that isn't the walls first. Nobody is going to get to siege our town. And then the governor. Who are we gonna put on governor? Veronet is exceptional. What? Juthis is also... Do you know, I think Veronet's the best one. She's got a huge wall of text going on here. Veronet, you're welcome. Veronet, this one. Well, whose mum is... Has she got as a mum? Sylvind. Oh, that's... <laughs> oh, that's the uh, Vlandian mother. How, the Vlandian kid's the best one to rule, huh? Guess the Vlandians know a thing or two about things. Well, there we go. Oh, Varagos Castle has not been taken this time. I suppose that's how... That must have been what was happening before. Varagos Castle was getting taken, and thus they surrendered quicker, or urged for peace. Podemon Castle and Varagos Castle are both castles that should belong to Felician. And I don't think these guys are going to want to go to war against the Arabian Empire too soon. So how about the Western Empire? Western Empire... Nobody wants to go to war yet. Okay. We'll wait a little bit. It's fine. 
No worries. Aha! The messenger from Polition has arrived at Calatild of Royestlandia. It's been a while. Now, there's a reason we're talking to Baroness Calatild here, and it's not necessarily to get another child, although it seems like either we or she does not need more children. That's that's ours, right? Back there? That, yeah. Anyway, we want to discuss something with her. She does like us. Let's maybe like make her like us more. She might even be our friend now. We are her friend. That's excellent. You know this? That means that she'll definitely accept this next proposal. We wish to discuss an alliance between our families through marriage. The hand of Rhea. Excuse me? How is that the only person we can... How are we going to get Graves a wife if we can't offer his hand? We're doing this because... Her daughter, Sylvind, who we've had daughters with, and sons, I think, uh, daughter, Veronette indeed, another daughter that we haven't recruited yet, and that's it, yeah. But this one is the one we need. Eri, we need this one for graves. Now, I am uh, not sure how we're going to do that, since apparently we can't... It's because he's our companion, isn't it? Graves! Our best boy, our friend, he's been here from the beginning. This man, the AK killing machine, sometimes. He is great, he's daring, he's cruel, and he's calculating. He's just such a good guy. Can we actually... I'm yours to command. Of course you are, you good man. Um, let's give him a joke, because apparently he doesn't have much relation with us. Um, we can't do anything else. Now, can we adopt him? I don't know. I would like that to be the case because if we could do that we could probably give his hand out hold on i think i have an idea first we're going to look at graves then we're going to say save and then we're going to see if turning him to our brother does anything and we're also saving the game first just in case holy moly guys we're back and gosh darn it there's been an adventure going on off screen here basically i have tried all sorts of madness to allow gavin to find a suitable spouse for graves gavin has one unclaimed daughter i believe it's just the one it's just the one it's just eerie here who has been taken prisoner by amalgam of no one cares yet actually we, we did care but anyway what i was going to say is that yeah i don't know maybe you noticed but actually all, i renamed all of gavin's kids because i wanted to turn i wanted gavin to adopt graves to be his real brother or adopted brother and that way i would be able to ask for ask other noble lords for an alliance to then marry graves now the problem with that is uh maybe you can't marry family or semi-family whatever the case Ah, oh, Graves' friend, Calatild, just never gave the option for her grandchild, Eerie, here. Eerie, no matter what, was never an option. I have no idea why. It just did not, it was not allowed. So, uh, yeah. I've changed all of Gavin's kids' names for absolutely no reason. Although I, I do like Edwina and uh, Dennis and Dennis the Second. I actually do kind of like these new names. Also, Mike. Hey, Mike. How you doing, Mike? Enough of that, though. We're going to create a new party. Graves is going to lead this party. And he is going to get all these noble steeds to ride fast. Now, not only is he going to get a new party, but we are going to do the unthinkable. And hope that Gavin can manage on his own and have Graves run around. We are now going to be playing as Graves. I really hope that Gavin doesn't get shit on once he's away, but you never know. He's a big boy. Should manage. Now, there's a few things we can do. Chinaba is her own woman and was last seen in the arse end of nowhere. So we're not going to go down there. What Gavin's best friend Graves will do, God, I First I call Gavin Graves, and now I'm calling Graves Gavin. My god! Anyway, he's gonna send her a message. She's 16 though, so I don't think that Graves can do anything with her. Eerie though, we're, uh, take a prisoner by Malgan by Hall's door, which is here. That's right. 
Yes, I already looked at that because I'm smart. Uh, grapes has some money, some food, some of some of money, 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 money. Anyway, he's also gonna go say hello to Ria because uh, whilst he has guns, he has got nobody else with guns. And uh, you know, he knows she's there to get punished, but Graves is very trusted by Gavin. Which means that if someone is going to test out her loyalty, it's going to be Graves. Ah, uh, and the message arrived at Sinaba. It's been a while. And it crashed again. Ah, uh, yes. It has been a while, Sinaba. Now, what can we say? What a luscious daughter of his best friend. He can inspect her troops. Ah, uh, you know what? Let's flirt with her. She was unimpressed. Uh, let's discuss something. Nope. Okay, looks like he can't ask her to do anything. Maybe she's too young, but uh, would you care to spend some time together? Mm, best not. He's going to test Rhea, you know, and without uh, Gavin's knowledge, best not to uh, invoke his wrath further if things are found out. Mm, yes. My greetings. Obviously, because she doesn't like him, she will not spend time with him. I would expect jest, and she liked the funny. Uh, the increase in the relationship uh, was very small, mostly because, uh, you know, Graves is not quite as charismatic as Gavin. He is a bit of a. He's more of a mindless madman, or is he? Meh. Who knows? Discuss. Um. Well, there's not really a lot to say here other than join the party. There we go. Oh dear. Here's Ria. Next to Graves now, with nothing equipped. We even, we have nothing for her. Ah, uh, what? He's got a little bit of money. Probably best not to let this lass go out without anything. That's a cool helmet. We'll definitely give her that. Okay, good enough. Give her a hood, because who doesn't love a hood? Male gloves fit this properly. And some shoes. Male splint boots. Bam. Looks like she's well equipped. And we don't have any guns, though, do we? No. Well, I mean, Graves has got two guns. Okay. Fine, she can have the... Let's see how she does with the hand cannon. How about that? Uh, stack amount 50, that's fine. Do you know what? That's fine. Wait, 50,000 gold? We don't have that much money! Shit! What was expensive here? The armor? No, that's... I mean, I guess it's all expensive together. We're gonna have to get a cheaper chest piece. There we go, it still has male legs things. It's... I don't know, it's... Fine. Graves has no money now. Uh, it's fine. Uh, we need to find out whoever defeated Eerie, and then we need to get her released so we can talk to her. Because the whole reason we're doing all this is because Graves needs to get a wife. A wife that is related to Gavin. Amalgam in Beth Castle. All right. Uh, here we go. Approach the gates. Who's in here? Brannock. Go to the dungeon. Nobody's here. Amalgam is Aster. Uh, it's going to be around here somewhere, surely. It's up here, and I did not expect that. Ah, it's fine. Oh, here he is. Amalgam. Amalgam. Stop Aster. We don't care who you are. We want to joke with you. You don't give a crap. Okay, no, that's fine. I wish to discuss a uh, proposal. Oh, here she is. Oh, can I even pay for this? Can. Nice. Excellent. She's free now. Now we just need to go down here and hope that, you know, uh, nothing bad happens. Oh, wait. Tournament. You know what? That's funny. Graves hasn't done a tournament. Let's do that. A full helmet. That looks pretty good. Um, We're not in this pile. You know what? We're just going to bet all our money. Why not? Graves is surely going to win. He is fast. Oh, right. And I did realize I actually looked at the armor that uh, Gavin is giving him and his own kids and such. And that armor is so bloody heavy, it's insane. So that is why he's always so slow. That's also why Graves wanted to wear something else when he's going on his own adventure. He didn't want to uh, be... Oh. Don't know who you are, mate. But you're going down. There you are. Nobody's going to defeat Graves. Not this flowing cape. They're not. Aha! Hey! Victory! Alright, bet more money. Oh, and now it's a big old pike. Oh, I don't know, is Graves really good at this? I don't know if he's actually good at any of these melee weapons. 
shit. Um, good thing he's got a million health and armor. Sir? Sir? Okay, I can't say he's... Oh, no. Oh, no, Spolon skills garbage. That's fine, really. Uh, oh, crossbow. This is what he's actually good at. Oh, look at how fast he is. No, oh, he's not even... Oh, it's already super duper accurate. It's like not even becoming more accurate when he aims. He's so good at crossbows because apparently guns are crossbows. Uh, unfortunately, the Pikeneer is now fight fighting with a pike. So that he's stupid though. So obviously, yeah. Oh, here we go. Graves is getting his own money. Hey, hey, Graves is digging his namesake. There we go. Earned some nice money. This helmet's not better than his, but it's better than the helmet. Oh, do you know what? Give that to Rhea. Now nobody even knows it's Rhea. And no, uh, we're not giving her a horse, and I don't. Actually, he can't ride. Uh, that's something. Glintor. He's also too bad to ride a Glintor pony. Okay, well, we'll still get some stuff, and we'll buy a terrible horse somewhere, I think. Whilst we wait for Eerie to up here yes and here we go last scene at charas graves can finally see about if he can seduce this lady he is not related to gavin he is merely a follower oh, that's the thing though he's not a lord so is it even possible it really should be i'm fairly sure it is here she is Eerie, child of Gavin. Peace to you, stranger. What is your name? I am Graves, madame, and you are Eerie of House Day Araman. So glad to meet us. Excellent. Now, uh, something to discuss. There's no... She's 18. There's no ardent admirer button. Why not? Uh, what is... What is... What part of person is she? Calculating, cruel, daring. Oh, just joke. Everybody likes jokes. Decreased by two to... Spend some time together. Screw this. He can't even... Is anybody else in here? How about her mother? Her mother is Sylvain and she's a Velocad? Okay, you know what? Let's have a look then. Velocad. What happens if Graves talks to that person? I should have just talked to one of the ladies in this castle, shouldn't I? Oh, oh, there she is, Sylvain! It's been a while. I'm sure it has, because last time I saw you were coming out of... Gavin's tent, ready to, yeah, discuss, no, we cannot say anything about being her admirer, okay, do you know what, maybe Graves just can't, who's this, she's, hold on, hold on, hold on, Sylvain, she is pregnant, she doesn't have anybody, it's an old lady, uh, there's lots of people at Charis that I could have talked to, I think, Let's go there and double check if Graves seriously can't talk to anybody because that would just not be fair. Uh, I think he already talked to her. Uh, spend time together just in case he didn't do it because she ain't pregnant, you know? Which is a big mistake, big shame. Uh, Eerie, Debana, 23 spouse. Damn it. Okay. Gish is chilled, 17. Nothing of anything. Okay. I don't know you. I don't know you and I don't actually care to know you either. Very Disco well. No, 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 no. I think he just can't ask anybody about I don't know you. anything. No, he can't. He just can't. He can't actually ask anybody to marry him. Why? Is it because he's a follower? He's a follower. He's not a noble. How do we turn him into a noble without marrying him to someone? Because he would have to kill them off afterwards. I don't think... We can't... We'd need to be a king ourselves and give him a thief or something. I think that's the possible. So, so Graves is running around right now and he can't actually get a wife or a woman or anything. That's that's terrible. On a more funny note, uh, Gavin created an army um, patrolling around Jericho, even though there's absolutely no wars going on. Uh, to consider declaring war. Oh, 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 we declare war things. Uh, which em who did we want to do this with? Either the Western Empire, it's the Western Empire. I know that that was not the Western Empire. The Western Empire is only 23%. Well, that's the Dryaskin Empire is 95% for some reason. 
And I guess expanding this way is fine. I just think it would be nice to get this last piece of actual Polishian land back, but whatever. Whatever's going on there is going on. So what's Graves gonna do now? He was gonna train Rhea or, you know, see if she wasn't powerful and capable and good. Hey, we have done. She's with our child. You know what? That's good. Fine. So... 54 looters out there. How, how hard is it for us to go into the water? Uh, oh, here it is. Yeah, okay. Let's see what happens when we try and fight 54 looters out in the water, hey? We're just harmless travelers. Yeah, you are definitely harmless travelers. Wait, they're all in the same part. Cavalry? Oh, why is she a part of the cavalry? Oh, oh, she's firing. Oh, she's doing it. Oh, Rhea, kill those looters. Oh, yeah, Rhea, go, girl. Oh. Well, okay. Dangerous lady, but she did it. She killed 19 guys. Got some loot, you know? She's capable. She didn't actually shoot Graves, so that's good. Oh, Rhea has learned that she is with child. Oh, I wonder how that happened. Uh, uh, uh. Anyway... You know what? If, hmm. What's that? Korea has arrived with a marriage offer for Rhea? No! No! Rhea is maybe an option for Graves. Perhaps. I don't know if we can really turn him into a noble without marrying him off. We can't actually marry him off because he's a follower. So how do we turn him from a follower into something else? We can't really. We could try and turn him him into a sibling of another noble lord but that's not really something i want to fiddle with considering how long time it took me to try and fiddle things already so what i might just do is gavin himself might just reach through time and space and force someone to be graves spouse without any of the typical hoo-ha involved in it. that's possible but then then who's it going to be you know what is it going to be Airy, or is it going to be Rhea? I feel like it's too soon to tell because anything could happen. Um, we should probably look at the kids and see how powerful they are when they uh, pop out to see if any of them are worthwhile. I don't know. Do you know what the best thing would be? The best thing would be if there was some kind of war going on. Now I could, I could swap. Hold on. You know what? Let's do that. Gavin, done. With our massive army. Okay, kingdom. Diplomacy. Nobody wants to go to war with the Western Empire. People want to... Do you know what? Fine, let's just do this one. Let's just go to war. Oh, it's because they're at war with two others. We want a war. We're not even going to use any anything on it. There we go. War declared on Lucon. Perfect. And then... Um, we go back to Graves. Gavin, do what you got to do. There's no war. Graves has got to teach Rhea what it means to be a part of this family with a gun in hand because she is family and she has been punished thoroughly by being forced to be sitting down there. Oh, where's, where's the army still showing here? I'm not part of the army right now, game! Eh, whatever. A real battle is what we need. Triptomian Castle. So we can fight a garrison of 122 with just Graves and Rhea. Do we think that's going to work? Do you know what? I think that is going to work. We're just going to pop over here, make sure it's not dark as the bloody night. Say hello, castle. Besiege. Are they not going to... Yeah. There we go. Sallying out. Hold, hold on. So uh, unfortunately, there is actually no saddles in here, but uh, Rhea can uh, still ride this horse just with no saddle. It, she's actually going to be, you know, in the cavalry group anyway. Might as well make it so that she can follow us. Can Graves show Gavin that Rhea is redeemed and powerful and a good daughter? And who is Graves' wife going to be? Let me know in the comments what do you think is going to happen or should happen. And let me know how many times more you think I'm going to mix up Graves and Gavin's names. Ugh.